In this video, I will cover the book version of Brendan Tully, also known as the Blackfish. Brendan Tully was the younger brother of Hoster Tully, Lord of Riveron. He was uncle to Lysa Aaron, Catelyn Stark, and Edmure Tully. When Brendan was old enough to squire, he did so for Lord Derry, along with Norbert Vance. After squiring for Lord Derry, Brendan was raised to a knight of House Tully. Years later, Brendan Tully crossed the narrow sea to fight in the war of the Nine Penny Kings. The young Brendan Tully, Stephen Baratheon, Tywin Lannister, Barristan Selmy, and Aerys II Targaryen were among the many young knights who fought for Westeros against the Band of Nine. On that Stepstone's battlefield, they proved themselves as capable commanders and respected warriors. It was there where Barristan Selmy slew Maelys the Monstrous after carving a bloody path through the ranks of the Golden Company. When Brendan's father died, his brother Hoster was named as Lord of Riveron. Hoster decided to betroth Brendan to Bethany Redwine, and when Brendan refused, it soured his relation to Hoster. Many offers were given to Brendan, but he would always refuse and would remain unmarried. This caused Hoster and Brendan to continue fighting each other, and Hoster would call Brendan the Black Goat. Hoster decided to change goat to fish, and the blackfish stuck. Even thought Brendan did not like Hoster, he had no quarrels with Hoster's children or Hoster's ward, Peter Baelish. Whenever Hoster was busy or ill, Edmir, Lysa, and Catelyn would turn to Brendan for help. When Catelyn was betrothed to Brandon Stark, Peter Baelish passed out drunk in the Great Hall, and Brendan carried him away so that Hoster would not see him. Tywin Lannister later considered to betroth Lysa Tully to Jaime Lannister, but whenever Jaime and Lysa met, Jaime would always be more interested in the Blackfish, asking for war stories and ignoring Lysa. Some years later, news arrived of Robert Baratheon's rebellion against the Iron Throne. Oster Tully was at first unwilling to choose a side, but eventually joined the rebellion, marrying Catelyn to Eddard Stark and Lysa to John Arryn. Brendan joined John Arryn's warriors, which caused Hoster to disown Brendan as a Tully and cease speaking with him completely. Once again, Brendan proved his skills on the battlefield, fighting for Robert Baratheon with John Arryn. He became one of the most renowned fighters and commanders of his time. After Robert took the Iron Throne, Brendan served as a Knight of the Bloody Gates. When we first meet Brendan Tully, in a Game of Thrones, he is serving as a Knight of the Bloody Gates. Catelyn Stark, along with Tyrion Lannister, Bronn, Marillion the Bard, and others, arrived at the Bloody Gates and met with Brendan. Brendan received news of the Lannister armies attacking the Riverlands and tried to convince Lysa Arryn to send the Knights of the Vale to help defend the Riverlands. But Lysa Arryn refused and Brendan left his position as a Knight of the Gates. He then traveled to White Harbor, where he met with Catelyn Stark, and then traveled to Moat Caelan with her. At Moat Caelan, Rob Stark had amassed an northern host and was preparing to march south against the Lannisters. There, he joined Rob's War Council and was named leader of the Outriders. Brendan took the northern cavalry south, defeating the Lannister riders of Sir Adam Marbrand and securing Rob's passage through the Green Forest. In the Battle of the Whispering Wood, Brendan commanded the cavalry that drew Jaime Lannister from his positions and allowed him to be captured. At the Battle of the Camps, Brendan led the vanguard, lifting the Siege of Riveron. There, Brendan met with the sick and bedridden Hoster, putting their past behind them. Hoster claimed he was too sick to fight Brendan, but Blackfish could tell that Tywin Lannister was the largest danger to Rob's cause and instead of marching in Harrenhal like Tywin would have wanted, Brendan and King Rob marched west, invading the Westerlands. Maester Wyman informed Catelyn that Lord Hoster Tully was close to death, and Brendan, along with King Rob, returned to Riveron. At Riveron, Rob and Brendan angrily condemned Edmure's actions, 
claiming that he returned their plan to defeat Tywin Lannister through an ambush along the Gold Road. Hoster Tully later died and was laid to rest in Tully fashion. His body was pushed out into the river, where Edmure failed to hit the boat with his flaming arrow. Brynden offered to do it, but Edmure would refuse and keep failing. Eventually, Brynden took the bow and hit the boat with his first shot, lighting it on fire. King Rob Stark named Brynden Tully as Warden of the Severn Marshes, and left him at Riverrun to plan the attack on Mount Caelan, which the Ironborn had taken. Rob, Catelyn, Edmure, and most of the Northern hosts traveled to the Twins to attend the wedding of Lord Edmure Tully to Roslyn Frey. However, the attack on Mount Caelan was never carried out, because King Rob Stark and his host were killed at the Twins, and Lord Edmure was taken prisoner. The Lannisters had won the war, but Brynden continued to hold Riveron in Rob's name. Slowly, the other river lords surrendered and bent the knee to the Iron Throne. Riveron came under siege by the Lannister and Frey armies, and Sir Ryman Frey was sent to treat with Brynden. Ryman continued to threaten to hang Lord Edmure, but Brynden knew that Ryman would never do so and continued to hold out, keeping Rob Stark's queen. Jamie Westerling in the castle. Months of siege later, Jamie Lannister arrived at Riverrun to parley with Brendan. Jamie told Brendan that he would be allowed to take the Black if he surrendered to Riverrun, telling Brendan that Jon Snow was now Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Remembering how much Catelyn distrusted Jon, he suspected that the Lannisters probably named Jon as Lord Commander and dismissed the author. Eventually, Jamie managed to convince Lord Edmure to surrender Riverrun, and right before Edmure opened the gates, he allowed his uncle Brendan to escape by swimming under his slightly raised water gates. And this is where Brendan's story comes to a standstill, until the series is continued. I will continue his story in part 2, whenever the winds of winter come out. Thank you for watching, and I hope you now know more about Brendan Tully. He is one of my favorite characters and I'm not a fan of him dying on the show. Make sure to subscribe to be notified of new videos whenever I upload them, and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I've been Maester Atil, until next time.